Can't be too nervous. Now, Rotary Clubs of New South Wales Volunteer and Policing Volunteer of the Year. Now, obviously, recognise the outstanding efforts of the New South Wales Police Force Volunteers in Policing Program. And they assist the force in their own time and help ensure the community of New South Wales is best served by their police. Again, three finalists. William James is the first one. William or Bill? <laughs> Diane Miller. Diane. And Dorothy Stanton. You don't get extra points for cheering, you know. It's already been decided. All right, I'll tell you about them. We'll have a look at the video and then uh, announce the winner. Are we all here? No. Here's getting here. Come on up. Now, don't be shy. The commissioner won't bite. We need one more. There we go. All right. William Bill James, Lake Illawarra Local Area Command, has served in the New South Wales Police Force for 15 years and during that time volunteered over 22,000 hours doing coordinated duties. And they include assisting detectives on strike forces, visiting elderly victims of crime, follow-up telephone calls to victims of crime, attending shopping complex meeting the community, ensuring community surveys are completed. He does a lot of work, Bill. Visits homes to do engraving, attended community requests, school fates, local council requests, local shows, safety to seniors, and assisting with award ceremonies as well. Been involved with community and sport, was also awarded a life membership Order of Australia in 2003, and Shell Harbour City Council Citizen of the Year in 2005. Extraordinary fellow Bill James on the video. My name is Bill James. I'm a volunteer in policing at the local Warrior Police Station. What, uh, what we do is, uh, myself and quite a few of others, is uh, whatever the police department fellows want, we, we try to help them as much as possible. We do not do anything for their job, any part of their work. We just assist in, in their request, like we're doing uh, copying, uh, filing, uh, binding statements, and whatever, whatever they actually need, we, we help as much as we can. Bill James is one of the most exceptional people I've ever met during my policing career. He's a role model not only to myself, but other junior members in the service. Financially, he may not be the richest person in the world, but uh, spiritually, he is the richest person I know. I enjoy being a VIP because uh, you work with some very good people, uh, have some very good friends, and made some very good friends, and uh, very good support. Just an example of the character of Bill James. Recently, he has been hospitalised with life-threatening illnesses. Despite that, he continues doing his VIP duties from the hospital bed. I'd like to see some new, some more. But I just think that they've got to be prepared to be a volunteer and, and not think that they're going to be a police officer and, and, and just combine and be a happy crew. There is not a person within our command who doesn't hold Bill on the highest pedestal. Um, from a probationary councillor through to myself, we all respect Bill and we'd do anything in the world to help this man. He does so much to help us in the community. I cannot speak too highly of Bill James. I think it's an achievement. And, uh, but you don't go out looking for these type of things. That, uh, you just get awarded to it, for it, to them, and you are quite pleased with it. On you, Bill. Now, Diane Miller, St George Local Area Command. Since attached to the LAC in February 2009, Diane has performed a variety of duties which she's undertaken with professionalism and dedication. A methodical worker who takes pride in what she does, performing every task with enthusiasm and diligence. And these duties include, but are not limited to. Are you ready? Archives uh, brief case files. Assists at police training days, purchasing, preparing food. Attends PCYC Rockdale every Friday night. And assists by coordinating and preparing food. Attends footy matches, rugby league games, with young people from the PCYC during the footy season to provide support. She attends football matches between police and the PCYC to support young people. Assists at trauma days run by the trauma division at Westmead. In traffic awareness at Homebush. And in addition, Dines also performed the role of usher and served refreshments at the St George LAC medal ceremony. Diane Miller on the screen. I'm a volunteer in policing. My name is Diane and I visit St George here each week. One of my roles here is doing data entry for the uh, 
briefcase files which are being um, archived, ready for police records and state archives. It's not the, not the best of jobs to do, archiving, and if, if Diane wasn't doing it, uh, someone would have to do, it, do that job. And uh, as I said, uh, she does that job fantastic. Every day she's there, she gets right into it, and uh, again, it's a job that frees up uh, staff so they can do frontline policing and do other policing roles. And Diane's very happy to do it, and she does a fantastic job. What made me want to be a VIP was wanting to contribute back into the community, and I find that uh, rewarding and satisfying. And if my, as I said, if my contribution in some small way is helping our hard-working police force, then this is giving me great satisfaction too. Being nominated for this award by my superiors has been overwhelming, but I would like to thank them for the opportunities that they've given to me to be a volunteer in policing. Okay. And finally, Dorothy Stanton, Brisbane Water Local Area Command. Dorothy, DOT, has been part of the Volunteers in Policing pro uh, program for the past 12 years, providing invaluable assistance and support. And in addition, DOT has given many hours to assist the VIP State Coordinator with Legacy and at the Easter Show. Contributes to Brisbane Water LAC by assisting the Detective Office and primarily responsible for ongoing victim of crime care and support. She commits time to attend the station each week to make phone calls to the victims. Also assists with catering and feeding police at training days and special operations such as on New Year's Eve. Administrative and data entry at for biz keys and at uh, medal ceremonies as well. Dot is very well respected by her peers, the police and the community. And she's on the screen. Dot's an invaluable asset to both Brisbane Water and the VIP State Coordinator over the past 12 years. She's uh, provided primarily assistance in, uh, uh, to victims of crime, uh, contacting them, making phone calls and supporting them through the hardships and times that they've gone through. Spent time with Highway Patrol, um, exhibits, domestic violence, did some work at the courthouse, a lot of years in the detective's office, and at present we're working on crime prevention, doing a lot of victim support work. Primarily DOT works for the detective's office. She contacts victims of crime. Uh, she makes the initial contact. She probably does about 80 phone calls uh, a month on average, probably more. And those that she makes the contact, she supports them, sees how they're going, arranges any follow-up. So it's a fairly, it's a quite a substantial role that she does. Comes in and does her job for, for nothing as a volunteer and um, she should be very proud and, her, and we are very proud of what she's done. The commander rang me at home after I'd actually missed a shift the day before because I wasn't well. He said, guess what, I've got some good news and told me I'd been nominated and uh, was in one of the top three. So it was a little bit of a shock for me. <laughs> Fantastic. They'd be invaluable, Commissioner, wouldn't they, to you? Just absolutely extraordinary work they do. Yeah. <laughs> he said they're worth twice what we pay them. Uh, now, to help in this one, District Governor-elect William Salter, representing District 9750, to help the Commissioner with the trophy. Come and join us. And the winner is Bill James. Yes, you need to be an octopus for this. Yeah, don't go away, Bill. And Diane. <laughs> All right, come and say a few words, Bill. Well, to me, this is a, a great contribution to what I've done. Uh, we don't know what happens behind your back because I didn't know about this nomination for quite a while. But uh, I appreciate what happened. 
I'd like to thank the Rotary Club for the, uh, the presentation of these VIP awards. I'd like to thank the um, Sydney Club for the hosting, also the sponsors, because I'm involved in many occasions where sponsors are definitely needed. And uh, I'd like to thank the Lake Laurel Area Command for their, <coughs> excuse me, for their uh, nomination, and especially our Commander, Superintendent, Starling. Thank you.